What is up, everybody? Mr. Hisner here. Uh, before we get started, I just want to say thank you all again for the participation in last week's lesson. Uh, I know that was really tough. I mean, moving into trigonometry, distance learning, all that stuff, um, really tough. I'm actually really proud of everyone who participated um, and he even gave it a shot. Hopefully now that you see kind of what I'm expecting, um, I want you to try. Uh, I, if you're going to go through and not try, you're not going to get credit for it. Um, Schoology gives me a lot of avenues to see, to assess, like, did you try? How many, how many times did you attempt it? How many, uh, how long were you on each question? Did you just leave your computer open and idle just to try and get some time to make it look like it? Guys, uh, don't waste your time trying to make it look like you're doing your work. Just do your work and do, do your best. I'd rather you try and get none right and take, you know, 15, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes and get none right and just try it um, and then learn right? Because if you're not learning, then what's the point? Don't even open the Chromebook. Uh, maybe I shouldn't say that, but like for real. Um, anyway, so uh, moving out of trig into circles. Um, but before that, just would like to do just a little bit of housekeeping, um, just so we can have some housekeeping. Housekeeping, you want towels? want towels. Need sleepy. So that way uh, we can just kind of all get on the same page. All right. So um, yesterday, uh, I got married. So this is uh, me and uh, Mrs. the Mrs. Hisner. So I figured we see. So this is us. We just got married, walking down our little aisle in the quarantine zone. Um, yeah, it was nice. We went to Founders Hall. We had a really nice day. Um, luckily, we were able to have our families there and our friends there. So uh, it was great. Um, officially a married person. And um, yeah, so no longer is she Kylie. She's now Mrs. Hisner. All right. So uh, got that out of the way. Next thing we got to get out of the way is we're going to look at circles uh, in this upcoming section. So I um, just want to say, these aren't your grandma's circles. Like if you are going into this, like I've seen circles in seventh grade and I was good with them. I promise you, these are not those circles. Uh, there's a lot about circles that you don't know. It shouldn't be a surprise at this point. And we're going to throw in some algebra and I'm going to call in some old information that we went through, like vertical angles, linear pairs, told you once, they never went away. Here we are in May, some vertical angles, linear pairs, still responsible to know these things. Amazing. It's almost like I teach this stuff. Um, okay, so I'm just going to kind of breeze through uh, circumference and radius, um, circumference and area today, and then show us how to use or show us examples where we use algebra in those. Um, and then, and then it's and then it's off to the races. We're looking at central angles, arc measures, um, tangents, chords, um, all types of interesting and fun things about circles that you've never seen before. Um, but come up again, especially in uh, algebra two and precalculus. All right, had some technical difficulties, so I've got to finish this one up on the iPad only. Uh, so first, we're going to look at the Area and circumference formulas. Area is just a big A, and it's A is equal to, the area is equal to pi r squared, and then circumference is big C, and again, this is going to be 2 pi r. <coughs> Excuse me. And so, um, some of you may be familiar with this as being 3.14, but um, this is high school, and I'm me. Um, so I use the pi button on the calculator. Uh, I'll use the button that looks like pi. And, and I'll show you guys that in a second. So let's just use these formulas. It says areas one through four, uh, we're gonna find the area. So number one here, area is equal to pi r squared. The radius, the radius is r. So this is our radius. And a radius is from the center of the circle is the measure of the center of the circle to the outside of the circle. So um, here, our radius is 12. So it's going to be pi times 12. And then it's going to be 12 squared. So this is going to be pi times 144. Um, and this, I'll show you on my calculator here. This, so the, here I'm at Desmos. And I'm going to do, hey, look, I did already. I'll just do it again. Pi times... 144, enter. And that's all, I'm just, I'm just using that pi button down there. Uh, and so 3.14, just gives you a more accurate number. So we find that our area is, A is equal to 452.39, and these are our meters squared. 
Anytime you're squaring something, because this was 12 meters, it turns into a meter squared. So just be on the lookout for that. Hopping over to the other one. Um, again, our, our radius is gonna be this line here in, in orange. Uh, and so what we're given though is this line here in green. And we're given the green line is, the, is 18 uh, inches. Um, the green line is actually the diameter. So the diameter is from the edge of the circle to the other edge of the circle. It's a straight line. Um, the diameter, this would, this line here would be 180 degrees, uh, the angle, so it's a straight angle, straight line, straight through the circle, uh, splits it in half evenly. So here we're given the diameter. Well, luckily for us, we know that the diameter is actually um, two times the radius. So what we can do here is divide both sides by two. Uh, long story short is the, the radius is the diameter in half. Right, so radius is going to be 18 divided by two. So the radius is gonna be nine. And now we can find the area. So area is gonna be pi times nine squared. I'm just gonna take the short route. I'm gonna do pi times, oops, that's too many pies. Pi times nine squared. Oh, there it is, just showed right up, enter. Um, it's 254.5. So this is 254.5, and these were inches squared. Easy peasy, squeezing the lemon. Squeeze the lemon. So here we go. Uh, now we're gonna do the circumference. So here we are, circumference. Uh, we're, remember, this is two pi r, where r is the radius. Notice right here, we have our radius. So this is two times pi times seven. This is all multiplication. So this is 14 times pi. Uh, and that is approximately 43.98, uh, or you can even round this just to 44.0. And these are millimeters. Easy, easy, just using these formulas here. And again, um, the only difference here for this one is that we are not given, we are not given the radius, we need to find it. So this would be the diameter and we'd have to Cut that in half, so this would be 29, our radius. Um, and then it would just be two times pi times 29. Uh, so this is very easy. Uh, hopefully you all agree. We're gonna have some practice with these, one or two of each. Uh, the difficult part I think will come when we have to use algebra to solve these. So I'm actually gonna focus on using the algebra. Uh, find the radius of the circle with a circumference of 35 pi yards. So we need to use the circumference formula here whenever we have one of these. So um, we want to find the radius. Actually, let me, let me use a different color. How about green? We need to find the radius. So I'm just gonna box this off um, and fill in what we know. We have the circumference of it, of the circle is 35, is 35 pi yards. Again, this is just a number. It's gonna be equal to two pi R, and we're looking for the radius. So I'm just gonna box this off. This is the one we're looking for. And now what I'm actually gonna do is, because we're looking for the radius, that's, our, that's what we want to be left with, means we're gonna divide both sides by two pi. Um, and you might be worried about this, but don't worry. Pi times pi, pi divided by pi is one. Two divided by two is one. So on the right, we're left with just R. And again, pi divided by pi is one, two divided by 35, you can't do it. Oh yes, you can, it's a decimal and it's 30, it's 17.5. And that's all, and these are yards. That's all. Um, just remember that when you're doing these, find the radius, just kind of box that off and use that as what you want to be left with at the end. And then just use algebra. Uh, it's all multiplication, so you're just going to be dividing both sides by things. Uh, it can get more tricky when you have the diameter that you're looking for because our formulas aren't in the in the uh, form of diameter. However, it says find the diameter of a circle when the area a is equal to uh, is this many uh, this many units. So I'm going to use pi r squared, um, and I'm just going to remember here that the diameter the diameter is gonna be two times the radius. 
So really, we what we still want to find will be the radius, right? Because we know that if we can find the radius and multiply it by two, we'll have the diameter. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna find the radius, um, and we're told that the area was 615.75, and it's equal to pi r squared, and we want the radius. Um, and so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna divide both sides by pi. Pi, pi, pi divided by pi is one. One times radius squared is just the radius squared. And then when we divide this by, by pi, we actually get 196. And we need to get rid of this square. So to get rid of the square, we square root both sides, right? And then squares and square roots cancel out. So we're left with just r. And the square root of 196 is actually just 14. And now I'm thinking back to what we just did here, or what we were talking about here. We, if we have the radius, we know two of them is the diameter. I don't know why this is going back. Just having a hard time with tech today. Um, so what we're gonna do is just take this number. If we know radius is 14, then we know the diameter is gonna be two times 14. So the diameter is 28. And these were centimeters. And that's all. So hopefully you guys can use this as a, as a way to do, to a tool to figure this out. Um, I don't think these are difficult. They, you just need to try them, uh, really, because once you go through them and you have a little bit more practice, uh, the pattern is very clear. All right.